So I wanted to show you this really cool little hummingbird fountain that I made. I've been experimenting with different solar panel ones and now I'm really into these USB ones because you don't have to have electricity or the sun in order to run them and I will show you what I'm talking about in a moment. But I want to show you how I put this together was that this is just a pretty little glass bowl, kind of fish bowl shaped bowl from Goodwill that I picked up for 99 cents this weekend. Um, this is just one of a bunch of little plates. It was a set of six little plastic plates from Dollar Tree. And then what I did was I have a pyrography pen, which is a wood burning pen. Um, you could do the same with a soldering iron. And I just made little holes here with the uh, pyrography pen. So the water, because the water needs to drain back down so it cycles up from the pump. Um, the other thing that I bought was this uh, quarter inch tubing. This was from Lowe's and it was only... I think this is 10 feet and it was like 350 so it's super cheap and you could use this for a bunch of pumps um, how much you need a you know depends on the size of the uh, pot or bowl or whatever it is you're putting the f uh, fountain into and then you want to buy this little pump and I will post a link to it um, so far of the ones this is the third pump that I'm trying out and I like this one the best because um, first of all it's the USB pump Secondly, it has suction cups on the bottom, so it stays nice and secure in whatever you are putting it in. And thirdly, it has adjustable water flow, and that's super important if you have a little fountain like this. The ones I'm sending back to Amazon did not have adjustable flow, so the water was all splashing out to here, and I came back outside and this was all wet, which means I would have to add water to this every single day in order to, or even several times a day. Um, you don't want the pump to run dry because it will break the pump. Um, then the really cool thing about this, like I said, it's USB powered. So do you have to put this out in the sun and get energy from the sun to power it? Nope. Do you have to have a cord running across your yard uh, to your electrical outlet? Especially if you have an old house like mine that does not have any outlets outside. So you got to run it through a door? Nope. How this is powered? It's USB plug. So it's plugging into a power bank. Now these are super cheap. You can buy these on Amazon and I'll post a link to that as well, but there's so many different kinds. Um, I remember these were super cheap, I remember. Um, one of these I noticed it lasted two days running it, six, so it was probably about 12 hours that it let the pump run. Um, and I actually forgot to come out here and unplug it at nighttime. Um, the one time, so it was on much later. Now the negative is yes, it's not like, um, uh, you know the solar ones that automatically go off at night so you do have to remember to turn them off but I mean no big deal all you're gonna do is run out your battery which you can just recharge it so not a big deal if you just leave it plugged in and then have multiple ones of these that you swap out that's what I do but anyway um, I've got it as far as the um, water setting I've got it set right in the middle for this small um, small fountain that I made but if you had a bigger one you could have it go all the way up it came up to about here if you put it on full if you put it on the lowest it just kind of burbles out of there so it's really however you want to do it um, but yeah I hope you guys um, make some little fountains for our little hummingbirds I am gonna set a camera up here and hopefully I will get them bathing and drinking out of this